So in my PhD research, I studied the effects of migration on development in a conflict-affected context, uh, Burundi. So I looked specifically on the effects of remittances and return migration on both social and economic development. So our project was part of a larger project, which is called Migration and Development, a World in Motion project. And for this project, we collected data in four migrant sending countries, including Burundi, and one migrant receiving countries. And the general methodology that we used uh, were large-scale household surveys. So what we did in Burundi is we interviewed um, 1,500 households nationwide uh, on their migration experiences and their livelihoods. And also we did a, an urban survey where we interviewed 800 households. Well, I think in the, in the general migration and development literature, both academic literature and policy uh, literature, migration is generally considered a positive force for development. Um, but most of the research on remittances and return migration has taken place in countries that were not affected by conflict, so in, let's say, normal developing country contexts. So actually, we don't know much about the effects of migration on development in a conflict-affected context. I mean, most of the countries that are affected by conflict are among the poorest in the world. They offer few opportunities for people to invest remittances, for example. Um, so actually, we don't know so much about the development effects of migration in these contexts. And that's what I tried to do with my research, to fill this gap. Um, my main conclusion was that in a conflict-affected context, uh, such as Burundi, the development effects of remittances and return migration are very limited. Um, remittances, for example, did not reach the households that needed it the most. And if you look at return migration, it mostly, uh, large-scale return migration of refugees, it mostly led to structural inequalities between return households and non-return households. And even in communities where, the, where a lot of return migrants resided, all households were worse off in terms of living conditions, for example. So I think the development effects of remittance and return migration are very limited in a context like Burundi. So what the findings of my thesis show is that you need a certain level of a basic level of development before migration can contribute to development. Um, remittances did not have the development boosting effect as is found in other uh, contexts. And uh, in the case of return migration, the, the findings were actually quite negative. So this shows that we need to keep investing in um, uh, conflict-affected contexts into the basic levels of development and not rely so much on migrants to be a force for development.